We're here today with Sarah Thayer to talk about her memoir, Dark at the Roots. Sarah, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about your book. Well, Dark at the Roots is a humorous memoir of growing up predominantly in the South in a large Catholic family. It takes place from when I'm about seven years old to when I'm about 18 years old. And Dark, it has nothing to do with hair, although hair figures large in the South. It's very important. Claw bangs. Claw bangs. So what inspired you to put your life story on paper in the first place? Well, I first started astounding people with stories about my family, like they couldn't believe that happened. And uh, so I started writing and performing them on stage. And I did a lot of um, improvised monologues with the Upright Citizens Brigade. Then I wrote and performed some things for Ira Glass's show. I, I read some David Sedaris stories. I worked with David Sedaris in New York, and I was just very inspired by his taking potentially humiliating circumstances and turning them into literature. <laughs> and I thought, mm, I have some of those experiences to draw on. Would it be safe to say that you weren't all, say, sugar and spice as a little girl? No, I was more snips and snails than puppy dog tails, I think, if I have to be honest about it. Would you consider your upbringing dysfunctional? No, not at all. What are you talking about? What is he talking about? Well, there are nuns aplenty in your book. Can you tell us about one? The one that was the most, that everyone remembers, that was the most frightening was in the book, Sister Titus. Mary Louise Laparus, your sister's so damn lazy, she makes you late for school every day and your daddy comes in with his hair completely uncombed. He don't even care enough about you to comb his hair and put on a good face. Finally, all the ladies out there want to know, how did you meet Andy Richter? Well, my older sister, Becky, is an actress. She and Andy were in a theater company together in Chicago, the Annoyance Theater, and doing shows there. They took their production of The Real Live Brady Bunch to Los Angeles, and I moved out and joined them at the producer's behest because I'd been regaling them via phone for months. So uh, I joined the cast, and Andy and I got to be very good friends and drinking buddies. And then one day, I made him a mixtape. And then he made me a mixtape of all our favorite songs. And so that was in 1992, and we were married in 1994, and uh, we just celebrated our 13th wedding anniversary. Two very funny, talented people. Could you call him, though, and tell him to be more funny at home? Sure. Hold on just a second. Yeah, please. Andy? I didn't even dial. But <laughs> made no sense. He's just on the line waiting for you <laughs> exactly. whenever. <laughs> Sarah, thank you very much for sitting down with us today and talking about Dark at the Roots. It's a great book. Buy it today. Multiple copies.